I'm not I'm not putting the hat on Gary this this is not my hat I I fine I'll wear the damn hat <sighs> hello everyone geriatric here or Colonel geriatric apparently with this hat uh, with midnight movie review and of course the lovely hi guys I'm creativity and we 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 we've seen the dark side of movies tonight. Uh, uh, quite literally, like the black hole of movies today. Uh, the, uh, the movie we're talking about is uh, Sausage Party. You might have seen this one, the one that looks like a cute little cartoon for kids. And it's just it's not. not no. It's um, R-rated. Um, it's uh, you know by the. Uh, Seth Rogen's uh, usual gang, I guess it is. Uh, James Franco, yeah. Michael, uh, Sarah, Jonah Hill. I don't uh, know if Helma... Or, what, what, how do you say her name? Uh, Kristen Wiig? No, the taco. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that because that's something we got to discuss. Um, the basic plot of the movie, it's, it's a send-up. It's an R-rated send-up of Disney, Pixar, animated films. It's about food. Uh, Frank, who is played by uh, Seth... And uh, they believe that when, I guess, people, humans, pick them, that's their gods, and they go to the great beyond out of the supermarket. And unfortunately, it turns out there's a much darker thing, which you probably guess because you've probably eaten food in your life. <laughs> um, this was just a weird movie. It was just... It's... I mean, you know what it is going into it. You know, it's kind of a send up. There's going to be sort some of. cussing, but, and I, th I think we had this discussion on the way home in the car. It's just halfway through the movie, you start thinking to yourself, where are they going next? Well, you know, what is what's what's next? And it just, oh. Uh, so is that a good thing or a bad thing? I, I mean, a very thought provoking story. Yeah. I mean, yeah. When when you finally get okay, this is you know what they're talking about. It's it's kind of like oh okay that's a good story but it's kind of hard to see it through <laughs> the sex jokes and just very sexual uh, yeah. yeah to a point where it's not even it's uncomfortable it was literally uncomfortable in a few scenes yeah um yeah I mean like so sexual you just like want to have a cigarette at the end i mean like, you just you just feel really like it's bad. time to bleach your eyes and just pray, pray and <laughs> um and the craziest thing came at the end of the credits when you start seeing who played everybody um before you know before we get to that uh kristen wig played the bun brenda i believe her name was right yeah brenda bun yeah uh, who I always think is just funny. Um, <laughs> but when we got to the credits of this movie, after seeing this, we found out that one of the characters was actually voiced by Edward Norton. You know, yeah, that Edward Norton. You know, American History X. I mean, just... And the taco was played by... How do you say it? Uh, Selma. Selma Hayek. Okay. I keep getting her name wrong. <laughs> and I just... I just thought on the drive home, how did you pitch this movie to them? These people. Because, you know, there is the usual people, as we said, who are probably just like, hey, we're going to make a movie, you know, let's we'll, we'll sign up. But how did you pitch it to these? I mean, how do you think that conversation went? I don't know. It got a lot of backlash. Um, <laughs> just... I, I don't know. I, I got nothing. Like, I mean, literally lost for words. I'm just kind of... You know, I feel like my brain either exploded or got raped. I can't really tell. I mean, just... And I think maybe that's what they were going for. And I mean, maybe it's, you know, the whole point about... We have been, like, trained through the Disney and the Pixar movies to expect something to be. It's still a shock to see these characters acting and saying these things. Yeah, I mean, like, this is, like, such a movie... It, even if you're like, oh, okay, I saw the preview and um, it it doesn't seem that bad. Why not? Yeah, mm -hmm. if you if you pulled the why not, um, don't take your kids. Oh yeah, please, dear, dear God, not, please do not. I mean, this makes Deadpool look like a freaking prince. Like this, this is not like a day at Disneyland, really. Deadpool. I mean, it's just yeah. 
And I mean, it's just... And as I said, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry I'm not giving you, like, in-depth commentary or... Yeah, it's, it's, it's so just, borderline that you can't really discuss it because it was that... I, I, I want to say vulgar, right? Raunchy? Up. Raunchy, mm. vulgar. A um, lot of cussing if you're offended by that. Oh, my God. It was... And, and, and I think, I mean, <laughs> and that's a point, too. I mean, it's the simple fact that it's a cartoon. That makes it's, it even more. It's deceptive in that way. Yeah, it's just like you see it, and the first time they swear, you're you, you're, you're almost shocked for a second. When, the that, system, when the movie starts, I mean, you're straight into it. And I mean, that's just, just what it is. I mean, there's there's tons of cussing, which I don't I don't particularly care. But I mean, straight into it, it's sexual, and it's like it's in your face from the beginning. It's like just from the time it starts. It just, I mean, it's just you get to. I mean. <clears throat> And we were talking about this, that maybe we need to do, like, a round table of some of the weirdest movies we've ever seen. Yeah, this is one of those movies where I would buy it just for the weird factor, but then I'd probably get it and be like, who do I show this to? Like, am I comfortable? Oh, yeah, I mean, seriously. I mean, you don't watch this with your parents. Uh, I mean, yeah, you, you hardly watch it with your best friends. Oh, my God. It's just... I, I, but it was funny. I mean, I mean yeah, I'm, And that's the craziest thing about this. It's not a bad movie. It's not. <laughs> no. But it just... You just walk out of there and you think to yourself, I, I what, what did I just see? I don't know about you, but I feel like even though like the credit started, um, everyone was just kind of like, so do we talk about this? Do we just look at everybody? Like I mean, You can just... see everyone exchanging those looks like, uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it just... <laughs> it made everyone uncomfortable, but at the same time, people were laughing. It was funny. And um, Very, um, it's just I, I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> well, there, there's a famous quote about something like this. It's like if you can get past certain things, then there is, as I said, a good story there, a yeah. good message actually. And, and actually, some critics have picked that up. I actually, literally, when we walked out of the theater, I immediately went and 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 opened my phone and was like. What are the critics saying about this? Yeah. And I saw yeah. it has a 90% approval rating. I thought it was going to bomb. Like, I, I, mean, I didn't just, check into that, and I was just like, how? Like, suicide, how? Su to, to put this in perspective, Suicide Squad, which we both loved, that we even yeah. talked about seeing it again in theaters. Well, you don't know that because somebody got rid of the film. Um, got a 30% approval rating. Yeah, not this sure is, how that happened. I mean, it's just... I mean, I just... <laughs> as I said, I literally... When this comes out on DVD, I, if there is commentary or the making of feature, yeah. I want it so bad just for that. Because I want to see how you pitch this movie, how you sign people up. And as I said, no spoilers. We, we know this is a no spoilers <laughs> review. Yeah. But the, the ending of this movie... Will make your brain explode. Well, we we and again we were talking about this before the movie started about you know because we knew the basic story and everything we were like how is this movie going to end and what happened yeah not even in the top fifty this is a they plausible literally like the movie just blindside you with something totally random. Again, and that and that's following the thing where we were talking about yeah. where you don't know where this movie's going to go. And it's just, what line are they going to cross next? Oh, they did. And they I mean, pushed it. I mean, I, you mean just... I think even, like, I mean, we're adults. Like, like adults. Yeah, and we're not prudes. And... I mean, we like raunchy, you know, comedy and stuff yeah. like that. But even this, we were just sitting there like, I mean, this is, literally, here's an impersonation of us watching this movie halfway through it. You're not laughing. You're not examining it. You're not talking. You're not, you're just, you're not even looking at each other because you're like, oh, I'm uncomfortable. I mean, it's just, <laughs> and I mean so, um, so guys, this is a first for geriatric midnight movies. Yeah. I'm going to say, go see this or not. I'm going to say you have got to do some searching. I mean, don't look for yeah. spoilers, but just realize yeah. language violence uh, drug use if you're offended by that drug use sexual things I mean, okay not just sexual things like I, we're talking sexual spectrum i i mean um, yeah if you what? if you have if you are uh 
not even the word I want, prudish. If you are, shall we say, sexually conservative? Yeah. <clears throat> just don't. Just don't, okay? Be, you're tr- you're going to be offended. Take it and- from... <laughs> Uncle and Aunt Jerry here. Um, really? Aunt Aaron. Pink Kennedy. <laughs> Sorry. As I said, this is where my head is right now after watching this movie. I don't even know what like, I'm saying anymore. I mean, even in the car, like, the first thing you want to do is talk about a movie. And you're just like, sitting you know, there. how was it, um, you know, like, anything, the backstory, anything you want to talk about. What normal people do, and everybody's just like, everybody's just, I got nothing. I just, <laughs> as I said, I mean, so... If you're curious about this movie, if you've seen the trailers or you've seen some of the reviews, as I said before, exercise caution when you when if you're deciding yeah. to see this movie. I mean, and if because... you guys have already if you guys have already seen it or you're about to see it or whatever, let's talk about it. I like, swear to God, whatever this is... you think, I mean, put it down because it's. I mean, it's almost like I want to get a, like a Reddit. Yeah, uh, yeah, my brain exploded, I think. I mean, I, I just, mean, I, I still, I kind of, I don't want to say it's a take it or leave it kind of movie because it's not. I mean, it's it's weird with a good message, but it's very over the top. It's a lot that you don't just, see. Like, And as I said, if you think, if you, as I said, if you have any doubt, if you have any hesitation about seeing this movie, I would, I would advise against seeing it yeah. because yeah. it's just... Something that you are going to, it's going to sit with you. And I mean, that's weird. I mean, you usually talk about movies like Schindler's List and I, The Pianist about movies that stay with you, but this stays with you, maybe not for the right reasons. But probably. it just. I mean, I can't, I, I think at this point going forward, I can't look at food the same way. Oh, definitely. Oh, trust me. And you, and I know what you're thinking. You've seen the trailer, you're like, oh, because, you know, they're eating and. You, no. you you don't even have an idea of what's really going on. Okay, so yeah. there it is. Sausage party. Um yeah, that's just where we're at now. <laughs> you know, it's the end of summer. Midnight movies you just you sometimes you just gotta pick whatever's available. I heard Peach Dragon was coming out. That wasn't available. We we that's, saw this. That's true. I mean also along with that, like if you have something to say about this movie, like I'm I wanna know because this is I'm just, oh. I'm just dumbfounded. And at the same time, though, um, going back to what we were saying earlier about the whole roundtable discussion, what are the weirdest videos you've ever seen? And I mean, like, yeah, legit, like, um, like because we stuff on Netflix, stuff on TV. I don't care. Like, but something has actually been released. Yeah, I mean, just something <laughs> out there that you. It says that, and that's, and again, we want to stress this. Being strange or being weird movie doesn't make it a bad or good movie. Right. Just I mean, yeah, don't say, totally well, you know, this was weird because it was terrible. Well, of course, there's thousands of films like that. But a movie where you're like, this is a good movie, but, right, you know. The ones that make you stop and think or the ones that shut your brain down. And, I mean, just shock your system. So, so that's it, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. And Seth Rogen and... Your crew, I just... Was it James Franco? James Franco, or Jonah Hill. As I said, Neighbors, This is the End, uh, The Interview, that's who you're getting in this movie. It's those guys. Yeah. Um, just uh, hats off to you, because you <laughs> had an idea, and you just you no, didn't compromise it. at all, apparently. <laughs> so, this is Geriatric. And Paintivity. Telling you, if you're not going to the movies... Then what are you doing with your life? <laughs> Mother? I think it's just the closet, but you, I think that's part of your picture. Why? I guess it runs in the family.